anyways hope you guys are having a great day uh it's day two of our little zone 11 bass fishing trip uh yesterday we came up north to zone 11 um fish for a couple of hours got a couple smallmouth and a couple largemouth i'm going to leave the link to that video down below in the description uh we camped overnight we truck camped last night it was cold we misjudged the temperature by a lot um it was one of the coldest nights i've ever slept in my life um but it's the next day it's gonna be a beautiful day out it's sunny there's like no wind and uh hopefully we can catch a couple big fish we're fishing the same lake we did yesterday uh yesterday we kind of fished or dissected all of the areas of the lake that we wanted to so today is gonna be just kind of fine-tuning and trying to get those big fish that we saw uh to bite uh, but yeah, we're gonna launch the boat and we're in for another day of fishing and then we're heading home But overall truck camping pretty comfortable. It's just it was just a little cold, but <laughs> Aaron's hiding from the mosquitoes <laughs> Look at all these mosquitoes, dude This thing saved my life yesterday You guys know I use the Dakota power box a lot That thing is great for truck camping use it as a light while you're cooking dinner uh, I charged all my batteries, all my camera batteries on that thing last night, and today we're going to use it to run the battery from the uh, from the boat. But yeah, power box, great little tool to have while you're fishing, especially when you're filming. So what's our goal for today? I think our goal should be to catch some of those fish that are staging. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think... know what they're going to eat because they wouldn't eat a jerk bait. Actually, we probably also spooked them yesterday, right? Yeah. Like what we'll do to do today, depending on the uh, how flat the water is, I'll throw. I'm probably gonna throw a top water at them. Yeah. See if I can get one to hit a top water, and then It'll if be that's fired up. Yeah. If that doesn't work, I'll throw a senko. Yeah. But, we, should, we should definitely tie up the senko. But uh, we saw a lot of fish, like in like that like five to ten foot of range. Yeah. They follow us in and such, but they wouldn't eat. Uh, if those fish ate, we would have a pretty good sack of fish. Would have had two five pounders. Yeah, like we, like I saw a fish that followed in my glide bait, like a large amount that may have been my PB. So they're definitely in there. We just have to get them to bite. Like I said before, today's gonna be sunny, um, warm. Yesterday we had a little bit of like a cold front come, come through. So I think today they're gonna be bunching, bunching a lot more, and I'm maybe moving up shallow too. Mouth on the jerk bait. Meow. Looking for one's a lot, lot bigger. More aggressive. There you go. Got him. Got him. Yeah. yeah. On the shad little bud. Oh, on the shad little. Like yesterday, um, a lot of the fish that we've been seeing are still staging. Haven't quite done the deed yet, um, but they're up shallow, so it makes fishing a lot of fun. <laughs> We're throwing a bunch of stuff, jigs, glide baits, as you saw. Got a popper, jerk bait, got a drop shot on now too, um, just because we saw a couple deeper yesterday. Um, but small fish, they're gonna get bigger, hopefully. I think as the water warms up, because right now, right now it's 62 degrees, and yesterday was 66, and it's a, today's gonna be a lot warmer day. So I think, I think around noon time, the temperature is gonna get back up to 66. The fish are gonna push back up, start staging, and uh, we might be able uh, to get them on moving baits and stuff. So I'm excited. One. 
Do not remember that trade. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I got him. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> there you go. Aaron's fish, the line broke. So we hand lined him. <laughs> oh, good one. Giants. What a tank. They're in, they're in such a weird like phase right now. We um, we don't have the opportunity to pre-spawn fish, so like. This is my first time encountering this. I don't know. You fished the states a couple times, right? Yeah. But like, they're not on beds. Like, there's a couple males on beds, but most of the fish are cruising. Like, this lake is pretty deep, so there's about like I would say eight feet of like beddable water on the shore, especially in this bay, and it like kind of goes down to ten-ish feet, and they're all sitting just on that edge between the beds and the deep water, like on that edge right there. So, um, they're really like, and they're really, I think they're focused on trying to get it going, like doing the deed. Um, so I don't think they're too interested in eating. It's kind of like this weird, like funky phase, I think. I don't know. <laughs> we're seeing a lot, a lot of fish. Um, I think most of them we're seeing a little too late. I think they're spooked. Um, but they're definitely pre-spawned, but I think they're a couple more days and they're going to be, going to be doing it. So. Today on the uh, Lunchable meal, we got some melting chocolate <laughs> and nachos. Pretty excited about that. We're topping it off with an iced tea. And we're watching Aaron slay them on a Senko. <laughs> yeah? Big? Might be big, I can't tell. Yeah. Come in here. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice, dude. Nice smallmouth. That's really pretty. Very pretty. Flyers? Yeah. See ya. Not very friendly either. Can't say, yeah, I can't say I don't understand. Oh, you shot. Oh, pike. That's a pike. That's a pike. Oh, can't say I wasn't expecting that eventually to, <laughs> on this trip. Oh, it's tiny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, bait secured. <laughs> well, I knew there was big pike in here. So I was f figured it'd be, we'd see at least one pike this trip. Small little snake. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a giant snake. I thought it was a giant bass. Got one? One after the other. You got a bass though, right? Yeah. It's not big. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> On the mag draft. On the mag draft. Little guy. He ate the mag draft? This guy ate the mag draft. <laughs> Yeah, bass. Aaron bass. Oh, gosh. That's a little bigger. That's a little bigger, guys. Yeah. Eight up shallow. Yeah. Yeah. Eight up shallow, guys. Shad little. Nice two pounder, nothing huge, but biggest song of the day for me. Go, buddy, go. Thank you, sir. That's awesome. The water's warming up and they're uh, moving up shallow, chasing our baits, biting our baits, moving baits, which is uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, Aaron. 
She's on. She's on. She's on. She's just inside the mouth. She's just inside the mouth. Go to the back, go to the back. You almost fall into the water. <sighs> yeah, that's the biggest of all. The trip. Oh, yeah, that's a pre spawner. Oh my gosh, it's just by her skin, it's just by her skin, just by her skin. Let's see what she goes. Ah, just shy of four. Three eighty-eight. Three eighty-eight. Small head on her, but she's long. You guys can see that. Three eighty-eight. Small head, but she's got the body of a big old mama. You made this trip worth it. <laughs> Let's release her and I'll tell you guys when I caught her on. Go, lady. Go, lady. Oh, this right here is what uh, what got her. <laughs> uh, my arm's a little twisted, but that's the bait right there. This is the Canadian Tackle Store hair jig. I think it's called the Delio. Um, nice ergonomic head. Uh, comes with eyes on the bait, but as you guys can see, this hair jig has been beat. Um, so the eyes came off, but uh, it's very like fluffy in the water. Usually gets their attention, jig it a couple times, and they come over and eat it. Uh, I saw her cruising along the bank, cast it past her, twitched it a couple times, and she ate it. As you guys saw, <laughs> just skin hook there. Um, this is a really light rod. This is actually my 7 foot light plus with my 1000 size Van Ford. This light rod really kept her pinned. I didn't horse her or anything like that, but uh, <sighs> heck yeah. That's the biggest one of the trip. There's like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's ten fish with plus your fish. That's crazy. I've never seen that many fish. Alright guys, we are packing up, packing the boat up. That is a wrap for a little uh, two-day Zone 11 uh, truck camping, I guess, excursion. Uh, we're going to pack all of our stuff up here and head home. All in all, it was absolutely amazing to be able to fish for bass. Um, we both definitely hooked into a bunch and got our bass thumbs going a little early this season. Um, Biggest one was just under four pounds, so we didn't really find the size. Uh, but again, it was a lot of fun, and uh, it was fun to catch them on a, on a variety of different techniques. We got them on the jig, we got them on the jerk bait, we got them on the glide bait, we got them on the hair jig. Um, so it was a lot of fun. But hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, two video series. Uh, I, I think we'll be back up to zone 11 before uh, bass opens down in southern Ontario. Um, 
it's fun doing the whole truck camping thing and it's fun exploring new bodies of water. So I'm gonna leave everything I used down below in the description uh, so you guys can go have a look and I will see you guys in the next one.